Up next week, the eyes of the US Congress will be on the sky as they hand down a report on potentially extraterrestrial encounters. Now look, while most sightings turn out to be like weather balloons, space junk or foreign surveillance devices, maybe even now drones, some are unable to be explained. So joining us now to discuss this is investigative reporter and editor of ExtraordinaryBeliefs.com, Jeremy Corbell in Los Angeles. Jeremy, good to see you. This is a huge topic. People debate it all the time. Why do you think there's been an increase, let's say, in sightings in the last year? Yeah, it is a huge topic and it should be a huge topic because the sightings have increased in frequency. And this is due to an actual increase of these unidentifieds flying with impunity within our restricted airspace. But also our technologies are getting better in some of our fighter planes where we're able to track and verify through multi-platforms that these things are real. UFOs are real. They outpace, outmaneuver and outperform anything we have. So this is a real issue. I love this story so much. U.S. intelligence agencies are set to release a report next week about UFO incidents. What are you expecting to hear? Yeah, well, look, fingers crossed that we do get this report next week. It was actually due on Halloween, but that could be internally. They have to put out an unclassified version because the public wants to know this is a flight safety issue for our aviators. But also, this is something that's been with humanity for a long time. So in this report, my highest hopes is there's no more obfuscation and ridicule that really kills the scientific study of what is a very real phenomenon, which is UFOs. Yeah, right. So there's greater calls for transparency, like you're saying, for UFOs or UAPs, as now they like to be called. I mean, should this just be, it should just be on the public record, shouldn't it? And that's exactly what people are, are doing. And you're right, there is a call for transparency that is beyond anything that I have seen in my generation and in my lifetime. People want to know the truth. They have a duty in my eyes to find out the truth. This is a global phenomenon. I get emails from Australia every day with videos. This is something that the public is curious about, rightfully so. It's a vast universe. Jeremy, What we're I seeing... Is not our technology. Have you seen anything, or have you, uh, you know, through this, your website and your discussions with lots of people, have you seen something that has absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt, convinced you? Yeah, it's a cumulative effect of evidence, but certainly, as you see from what I've been able to obtain and release, which is confirmed military footage of UFOs from multi system platforms, that was something that I put out with my mentor in journalism, George Knapp. Imagine what I can't put out. So there are so many things that have convinced me there's a true mystery here, and there is a physical aspect to it in craft. I, I don't have the luxury of disbelief. So, you know, for a long time, people would have thought that this sort of reporting or this sort of investigating was just a bit kooky mm -hmm. or a bit of a conspiracy theory. And now these sorts of reports, they sort of vindicate what you're talking about. How does that make you feel? Right. So the climate has changed in this world when it comes to this topic. I think we've sobered up. We're looking at this now through the eyes of this is actually being picked up with our radar systems by our pilots, by credible people. Sure, there's a sense of vindication for people that have been into this. But much more importantly, we are now facing reality and we're saying who are operating these craft? Where do they come from and what do they want? I often feel like, you know, especially leaders who probably have access to this information, like apparently Obama uh, had access to this information, or Trump or Joe Biden, they never say anything. And I don't know why they're not saying anything, or they're just going, guys, it's fine. It's just a few seconds. Especially days. Trump. Like, yeah, he said yeah. everything else. I know, he said literally everything else. So are we going to get any closer to confirmation, possibly? I mean, next week is midterms over there, so it might be pushed again. But are we getting any closer to actually finding extraterrestrial life? So I, I don't know that UFOs necessarily represent extraterrestrial life. It might be stranger than that. We might be dealing with a natural phenomenon that's been here longer than us. There does seem to be craft, though, and those craft need to be occupied or driven by an, by an intelligence, biological or not. So, look, this is the big mystery. This is what we need to find out. It would be a great waste of space if there weren't other beings. But the real question is not, are there aliens or this sort of thing? The real question is, who's visiting here? What do you think? 
You know, I'm going to suspend my judgment until we can get a larger study on this. And everybody in the scientific community should be salivating over this. This is uncharted territory. It's unexplained. This is a new topography. And we are cartographers. This is a whole new world where science can study a phenomenon that could give us a lot of answers that could help a lot of people. Jeremy, we want to touch base with you when this report comes out again. So um, thank you so much for being here. We really do appreciate it. And I said, there's a lot of people that cite stuff here in Australia. Thanks, mate. Yeah, just stay curious about it. It's an important topic. Thank Will you. Do. Absolutely. I actually think it's us coming from the future to the past to see that. So I, I think was just thinking seeing, that. That's why I asked him what he thought. It's future us. Well